do as well as the brainstorm about the value. So coming up with symbols or a story together that will represent your value. And if it's a merged value, how can you merge your two values in your image to symbolically? So I don't know how much. I think I've seen it with my own eyes how in my own life, first of all, of how graffiti has empowered me as a person. Uh, you, I used to call it graffiti and now it's called street art and then it goes to muralism. So there's so many labels to it, but it's really that pure expression mm. and putting it out on the street. Um, so how it's empowered me in my own life and then seeing youth that I've worked with. Uh, usually now what we do is like we do quick workshops. So like one week, one month. Um, but I used to, in Montreal, work at La Maison des Jeunes, so a, a youth organization that's really kind of like the graffiti art programming. Uh, but it was a youth drop-in center, and I started a graffiti program there. And I worked with the same youth in like throughout three years, and I'm still in touch with them. And I got to see youth be so empowered, um, coming to the workshops, creating their paintings, and we did exhibits together, and then having those kids sell their work and be able to buy their own winter boots when they couldn't afford their winter boots or to be able to express themselves about what their neighborhood meant to them and just seeing them glow in that way and growing um, like I'm 100% convinced that I know that art moves like souls and um, and people who wouldn't be heard otherwise have a voice yes so it's so important to not only um, speak for others but give them the tool of the voice you know what i mean so like through our work we try to speak about the environment about different social issues that are happening in our surroundings but i think it's also important to inspire and give that tool to youth especially because there's so much yeah. life to come and they're they're the future